I bet Alex Murdaugh was used to the finer things in life. That's before he landed up behind bars. Prosecutors who put Alex behind bars are now pushing for a third life sentence for his financial crimes. They're determined to push for justice for each of Alex's victims of financial and theft fraud. In the call you are about to hear, Alex describes the food and life behind bars, and he is not impressed at all. Apparently, it's worse that hospital food, which led Alex to snack more. Take a listen and share your thoughts down below. But we've also found out that we might be able to donate books to it if they don't have anything you like. But you've got to figure out how to get to it. Yeah, you know? all right, I'll, I'll try to figure that out. And I don't, I don't know, because they're keeping you kind of, it's like the medical wing or something, right? Yeah, but, I mean. It's not I in the regular. No, uh, I mean, um, they changed my classification, so I'm not in mm. the cell all the time. Well, that's good. You, you've got to get out and be able to do something. I mean, it's like you go, three hours, and... I, mean, I can't. I can't imagine not having anything to read, not having a, a well, game old, to play or one, anything. This old trustee, one-legged dude named Clarence, he, he yeah. moves himself around on a wheelchair. He's been helping me get books and also, but he, they buy oh, good. Out. So yeah, oh, I'm sure. I mean, I've read I've read fifteen. I bet I've read fifteen, eighteen books in short order. Yeah. Hey, I can imagine. That's the only thing you got to do, really. Well, I started exercising too, so I, I'm That's on my good. I'm on my eleventh day, and I mean I can already tell a difference. So I can yeah. already tell a difference. So that's good, and I'm doing more and that's more good. each day. Yeah, um, a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. At least it'll keep you in in semi decent shape, because I. I know the food's not good. You said you were eating snacks too much, but... No, oh, the food, I've been trying to quit eating because, I mean, you know... The, but you got to have something that's decent. I mean, you you got to have something that has some flavor, yeah. Oh, my God, you don't know how bad this food is. <laughs> I'm seeing things well, like I it. Can... Hey, you think hospital food's bad? I'm telling you now. I would, I would damn... Go to Richmond. The hospital food's good, huh? <laughs> for three, three, three squares a day. Did you get your money submitted for whatever that was? Yeah, I did. Thank you. What What is that? Like you get to buy like a like All an right, actual so dinner the, or something? No, nah, here's the way it works. All right, so the canteen isn't like a room you go to and use a vending machine. All right, the canteen is you go to this kiosk. You know what a kiosk is, right? Yeah. It's like a little computer machine. Now, I know what a kiosk is. All right, so you go to the kiosk and you place your order. All right? And you can order any array of things like um, hygiene products, um, this, that, and the other. Then they got, you know, all these foods, potato chips, a, a bunch of varieties of potato chips, summer sausage, beef sticks, crackers, and you can order. But you can only order $60 worth. And you order... Like, you have to order by Wednesday, and the canteen delivers on Monday. So, like, on Monday, they bring you a big bag of whatever you ordered. You, so you got $60 per transaction or, like, $60 a week? or A week. $60 a week. I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can. Am I catching you at a bad time? Buster said you were downstairs. Yep, I'm just doing my Peloton exercise. Have you exercised today? Huh? Have you exercised today? Not yet, I haven't. But I tell you this, I did so hard over the weekend, and yesterday um, I, my, my knee started hurting really bad, and so I hadn't done it yet today. I've been waiting. But, I mean, I've been doing them um, mountain climbers every day. 